In my last video, I explained why I use Docker in my smart home. In it, I tried to explain what Docker is, how it works, and why I use it. Unfortunately, I was wrong on a point in that video, and I'd like to issue a correction. There's enough misinformation on the internet already without me and my ignorance adding to it. In that previous video, I incorrectly stated that Docker containers included everything needed to make an application run, including the operating system. This is incorrect. Docker containers apparently share the kernel from the host operating system. This means that you can't run Linux containers on a Windows operating system, but you can still run Docker and Windows-based containers on a Windows operating system. I believe all the other points I made in the video are fair though, and it definitely does prevent cluttering up your host operating system with all sorts of dependencies and crud. If you haven't seen the video, you should check it out, I put a link to it in the description below. I want to thank all the folks who corrected me in the comments of the video and taught me about this important distinction. I honestly didn't know, and I'm really glad that I'm part of this community. It's awesome that we're all learning things together, and this should serve as an important reminder that people like me are just nerds on YouTube and we get things wrong from time to time. In that video, I also promised that my next video would show you how to install Home Assistant and Docker. But there were so many great comments made about Home Assistant OS, the supervisor, and add-ons that I've decided to make a comparison video first between Home Assistant OS and Home Assistant in Docker. I don't want to give the impression that running Home Assistant in Docker is the best way and the only way. It just happens to be the way that I use it and it works for me. So in the next video, we'll take a look at the pros and cons of both options so you can figure out what method is best for you. After that, I'll release a video in which I go through the Docker and Home Assistant installation process and continue on in this series. I'll also make sure that any other future videos, like the one where I'm going to be talking about Frigate and how I use it to detect people and foxes on my security cameras, also include steps for how to install it via the Home Assistant add-ons. So I apologize for the mistake I made, and I'll be back with a new video soon. In the meantime, make sure you're subscribed so that together we can make your home smarter.